In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I would argue is one of the best ways uh, to play defense in this year's game. It's really good, specifically against the bunch meta. Um, it's also really good against you know any formation. And the setup for this, or the, the coach adjustments that I like, is we're going to have our auto alignment set to base, option defense on conservative, and zone coverage set to match. That's pretty much all we need to do. And the play is 4-3, even 6-1. And the concept that we're going to want to work through here is we want to put our linebackers at defensive ends. We want to have our best pass rushers um, on the outside with edge threats if possible, or fast guys with edge threat. And then on the inside, we could do something like this. Now, the play is Sam Will Blitz. Um, now, I did release a 4-3, even 6-1 defensive ebook. If you want to get access to that defensive ebook, it kind of goes in depth on not only how to how to run the blitz, but also how to run kind of some really good disengaged max coverage defenses, as well as stopping the run and specific setups for the most popular formations in the game, as well as generic setups for anything you might face. So if you want to get access to the full ebook, the link is in the description. Patreon members should have access to that as well. Um, it's just in our Patreon. $10 gets you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. Uh, and we have a brand new ebook that I'm working on for the beginning of next week as well. So Samuel Blitz, real simple. All we're gonna do, and don't worry about the play art, it's kind of weird. What I like to do against a bunch set is I'm just gonna bring this guy down here and man him up on the tight end. And then I'm gonna stand right here with my user. And essentially, if the running back goes on a route, I'm gonna go guard him. And as you see, pressure is really, really, really good. Now, another way that you could kind of run this, there's multiple ways to skin a, skin a cat. We could man the safety up, so we could bring him down. I definitely think bringing him down, at least to here, is really smart so that he doesn't move. But just bringing him down, and we're gonna man him up on the solo receiver, and then we're gonna man that corner up on the running back. So this is kind of a sneaky adjustment. So at the snap of the ball, we're gonna go to the right now, and as you see, they're gonna be in a little bit of a predicament if they're running back, um, you know, let me show you. So if I put the running back on a wheel, um, again, we can just simply, we don't even have to press, just bring the safety down, man him up on the solo receiver, and you do something like this, okay? That route is gonna be very well defended, that wheel route to the running back. Now, the caveat uh, to this is, um, you know what if and we can we can mix and match right so now they're gonna say well we'll start we'll stop sending the running back out so now what we'll do is we'll say okay well, we're gonna man this gap on the tight end and if they run into the tight end we're gonna kind of fake like we're going to the flat and then we're gonna work back into the middle of the field and you see how good the defense is now another little variation of this um, again I think it just makes a lot of sense just literally just bring this guy down and then you can do whatever you want with him so here we'll man him up here, and then we'll kind of stand right in here. Running back's gonna block, okay. And you see how tight end kind of gets stuck. This is also one of the best shed defenses in the entire game. Now we will say one of the challenges is a tight end can sometimes do stuff like what you just saw, where he kind of messes with my guy. Um, you know, just something to kind of kind of be concerned or just pay attention to. Uh, but anyway here here's the blitz again their time you see it and you see how good this is so it's really simple um, there's some really cool coverage defenses in this that will create kind of um, the right word would be natural disengages so like let's say you see something like this here um, and what you'll see is now your edge threats are going to be matched up really well to get great sheds so you're going to constantly go between coverage and pressure, coverage and pressure. So, you know, an example, do something like this where you bring this guy down, minimum from the tight end, and then you're going to click off, kind of get to your user, which is this guy, um, you know, and then you can kind of adjust your coverage however you want. Um, you know, maybe do something like this. I think this is actually pretty good coverage. And you'll see the pressure of the sheds are just incredible. So really simple defense but really effective if you can learn the adjustments you can learn how to adjust out of this you can learn how to you know maybe do something like um, you know like this 
still send everybody, you know, but now we've got kind of this glitchy man up on the running back deal, and then we're just going to shoot to the flat over here. You see how fast the pressure's going to come in. So, if you want to learn the rest of the defense, make sure you're in our Patreon. Uh, Ten bucks gets you access to everything over there, including this defensive ebook. Uh, we've got 11 offensive and defensive ebooks available. Patreon members get access to all of them, as well as all the updates to the ebooks throughout the year. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.